The Stutthof camp was one of the noteworthy camps during World War II. From 1933 to 1945, Nazi Germany and its allies built nearly 44,000 camps and prisons, including ghettos, for a variety of nefarious purposes. These places were used for mass executions, the incarceration of those deemed to be enemies of the state, and forced labor. Millions of individuals experienced misery, perished, or were murdered as a result of these severe repercussions. Let's delve deeper into the details of Stutthof concentration camp and expand our knowledge. The Germans established the Stutthof camp in September 1939 near Stutthof, Stutovo, a town 22 miles east of Danzig, Gdansk. The camp was secluded, surrounded by the Vistula River to the west, Vistula Bay to the east, and the Bay of Danzig to the north. The camp's location, with high moisture and near sea level, was close to the popular seaside community of Krynica Morska, known for its proximity to the Baltic Sea along the Danzig-Elbing Highway. Stutthof, originally a civilian detention facility, became a labor education camp in November 1941 under German security police. By January 1942, it transformed into a standard concentration camp. Initially, the camp was enclosed by barbed wire fencing, known as the Old Camp. In 1943, the camp expanded, and a new camp was constructed, surrounded by electrified barbed wire fences. SS guards and Ukrainian auxiliaries joined the camp personnel from that year onwards. Tens of thousands of people eventually made their way to the Stutthof camp. The population may have even reached 100,000. In addition to Polish Jews from Warsaw and Bialystok, the majority of the detainees were non-Jewish Poles. In addition, Jews were transported to Stutthof from forced labor camps in the captured Baltic republics that the Germans had evacuated in 1944 as Soviet forces drew near. Extreme savagery best described the camp's conditions. Numerous detainees died as a result of the terrible typhus epidemics that struck the camp in the winters of 1942 and 1944. The SS guards gassed those who were deemed too sick or frail to work in the camp's small gas chamber. Zicklin B gas was first used for this purpose in June 1944. Additionally, in the infirmary, camp doctors gave deadly injections to sick or hurt captives. Over 60,000 people died at the camp, making it the deadliest place on earth. The SS guards' atrocious treatment of the captives at Stutthof concentration camp was characterized by excessive violence, cruelty, and dehumanization. The Stutthof Trials The Stutthof Trials were a series of war crime courts held in post-World War II Poland for the prosecution of Stutthof concentration camp employees and administrators who were accountable for the murder of up to 85,000 detainees while Nazi Germany occupied Poland. In Poland, none of the Stutthof commandants ever faced trial. Max Pauli, the commandant of the Noengame concentration camp in Hamburg, was put on trial by a British military court in Germany, but not for the crimes perpetrated in Stutthof. Pauli was nevertheless put to death in 1946. In Poland, the first Polish war crimes tribunal met in Gdańsk from April 25th to May 31st, 1946. The following three trials were held at the same court in 1947, October 8th to 31, November 5th to 10, and November 19th to 29. In 1949, the court in Toru held the fifth trial. In 1953, also at Gdańsk, the sixth and final Stutthof trial in Poland was held. 72 SS officials and six female overseers, who were among the nearly 2,000 SS members who managed the entire camp complex, were punished during the Stutthof trials. The Female Enforcers, Unveiling the Dark Figures of Nazi Concentration Camps, 1939-1945 Millions of innocent individuals endured unspeakable misery and suffering in the Nazi concentration camps during World War II. While male guards' involvement in these crimes has received a lot of attention, female guards' contributions to these camps' security have frequently gone unnoticed. These women were responsible for upholding the harsh rules and laws of the concentration camps, but they also had a significant impact on the abuse, murder, and torture of countless captives. Ermgard Ilse Ida Gressa, who was a Nazi concentration camp guard at Ravensbrück and Auschwitz, and the warden of the women's division of Bergen-Belsen, 
lived from October 7, 1923, until December 13, 1945. She participated in the SS as a volunteer. On April 17, 1945, the British Army captured Greece along with other SS members who remained in their positions. Greece received a death by hanging verdict following a nine week trial. Grace was found guilty and given the death penalty together with two other female guards who worked in concentration camps, Johanna Bormann and Elizabeth Volkenrath. Despite the fact that there were 16 female warders in total and some of them faced charges just as harsh as Greece's, the Witch of Buchenwald, also known as Ilse Koch, was one of the most infamous female war criminals of the Nazi government. Koch, who was married to Karl Koch, the head of the Buchenwald concentration camp, was born in Dresden, Germany in 1906. Koch, who was well known for her cruel treatment of inmates, had a lot of power as the spouse of a senior SS commander. Koch had a specific obsession with acquiring human skin, which she used to create decorative objects like book covers and lampshades. She was also suspected of taking part in the murder and torture of detainees, including children. Koch was detained by American authorities following the conflict and put on trial for war crimes. In the end, she was found guilty and given a life sentence. Maria Mandel, also spelled Mandel, was an Austrian SS helferin who is best known for her involvement in the Holocaust as a senior official at the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, where she is thought to have directly contributed to the deaths of over 500,000 prisoners. For war crimes, she was put to death. Hertha Butte, a German, guarded detention camps during World War II. She died on March 16, 2000. After Nazi Germany was defeated, she was arrested for war crimes and later freed on December 22, 1951. Hertha Ehlert, a German SS guard and supervisor in a number of Nazi concentration camps, notably Ravensbrück and Auschwitz-Birkenau, served from 1914 to 1997. Her ruthlessness and role in the selection and killing of inmates were well known. Ehlert was detained after the war, accused of committing war crimes and ultimately found guilty. In 1949, she was given a life sentence. She had a reasonably quiet life until her death in 1997 after being freed on parole in 1954. Greta Bosel worked as a guard at Ravensbrück, the women's camp. She was a nurse by training and one of her duties as work input overseer was choosing the female prisoners for the gas chamber. At the first Ravensbrück trial, Greta was tried and found guilty by the jury. On May 3, 1947, the Allies hanged her and other prisoners at Hamel Prison. The moniker Bloody Brigitte was given to Hildegard Lachère. She was referred to by numerous witnesses as the worst or cruelest of Saharan, as well as beast and fright of the prisoners. The court gave her a 12-year prison term for her role in selections to the gas chamber, letting her dog loose on convicts and general maltreatment. Jenny Wanda Barkman, a German overseer in Nazi extermination camps, lived from May 30, 1922, until July 4, 1946. She also chose girls and kids to be put in the gas chambers. The female captives gave her the moniker Beautiful Spectre because she was so ruthless. On July 4, 1946, Barkman and 10 other prisoners from the trial were publicly hanged on Biskupia Gorka Hill outside of Gdansk. On May 10, 1945, the Soviets liberated Stutthof. Between April 25 and May 31, 1946, the Polish Special Law Court in Danzig tried Commandant Johann Pauls and his staff. Six men and five women were convicted of war crimes and given death sentences. Johann Pauls, Jenny Wanda Barkman, Elizabeth Becker, Wanda Klaff, Ewa Paradies, Gerda Steinhoff, and five other males were SS officers. The women entered a not guilty plea and didn't appear to take the trial seriously until the very end.